This simple watermark can save your edit from getting stolen and it's actually quite easy to create. Let me show you how. Open the edit page of DaVinci Resolve, then go to this top left section and here you will see this effects icon. Click to open it, then expand this toolbox and go to this title section. And from here, we are going to add this text plus node. So simply click and drag it to the timeline and place it in the beginning of your composition. Now click on this Fusion Fuse icon to open it. Alright, so once you are in Fusion, you will have something like this. Now first thing first, let's change our text. So go to Inspector and select this custom title and replace it with your current text. You can also change the font by going here. but I'm going to keep it as it is then click on this semi bold option and if you want you can change it to bold now also scroll down and you will see this size option simply click on this slider and drag it to the right side to increase the size let's keep it somewhere around 0.2 okay now as you might already know we usually put the watermark somewhere at the bottom so for that simply scroll up and go to this transform tab and from here we just need to adjust the offset and in order to put it in the bottom, we need to adjust the Y offset. So simply click here and drag it to the left side. I'm going to keep it somewhere around 0.35 maybe. Okay, so minus 0.35 looks good. Now what I'm going to do is simply disable the checkerboard. And for that, I'll simply move somewhere around here and you'll see these three dots. Click on it and go to this checker underlay. Click on once and it will disable the checkerboard. Now let's set the white line. And for that, we need to add a background. So Go to the left side of your tools bar and you will see this background node. Click to add it. Now let's adjust the nodes. So simply click here and drag it somewhere around here. Now take this background node and move it somewhere around here. Now by default our background node is always black. So we need to change this color to white. So go to inspector and click on this color section. And from the color palette choose the white color. Let's enter to apply the changes. Now in order to create the white line we are going to use the rectangle mask. So simply click on it and we'll have something like this. Now let's adjust the mask. So go to inspector and we need to adjust the width, height and also central x, y in order to adjust it properly. So let's do this accordingly. First thing first, let's adjust the width. So I'll simply click here and drag this um, around here. You can keep dragging like this but what I'm going to do is simply double click on this box and I'm going to change the value to something like 0 0.025. Let's click here once to apply the changes and we'll have something like this. And let's do the same for height. So for this one, I will simply double click here and change the height to something like 0 0.16. Let's click here on to apply the changes. All right, so it's looking good. And now let's adjust its position. So let's click on this is box and drag it some around here and also click on this Y box and move it downwards. So I'm going to keep it somewhere around here and also let's drag the X box a little bit to the right. Okay. Now if you want, we can decrease the size even more, but I'm going to keep it as it is. Okay. Let's move on to the animation. And we're going to create the pop-up animation first. And for that, we need to animate the height. Make sure that you are at frame zero, then add a keyframe for the height. Now simply move to frame 25 and at this point, add another keyframe. Now simply click on this mini arrow to move to the spot keyframe and drag the slider to all the way to zero. Now open this spline tab, then select this hide box and click on the zoom to fit icon. Now select the keyframes, then press S on your keyboard. Now just follow me. Simply click on this bottom handle and drag it forward like this and take this top handle and move it like this. Keep it somewhere around here. Now let's preview it. But before that, let me set the preview area. So for that, what I'm going to do is simply click on this box and drag it like this. Now if I play it, we'll have something like this. So it's looking like this. And it's actually looking pretty cool, I guess. Mm, but we can make it even more better by adjusting the curve a little bit more. So let's do this. Click on the zoom to fit icon once again. And let's drag the top handle like this. And also let's drag the bottom handle a little bit more. Keep it somewhere around here. Now let me double click here and play it. So with this we are done with the pop-up animation. Now let's also animate the position. And for that we need to move to frame 25 first because this is where our pop-up animation ended. And from there we are going to move 5 frames backward. So this will be frame 20. Okay. And now what we are going to do is simply go to inspector and add a keyframe for this center XY. And from there we are going to move 30 frames forward. But before we do that let me adjust the preview area a little bit. And let's move 30 frames forward and it will be frame 50. So at this point what we are going to do is simply click on this X box and drag it like this. Drag it until it reaches the end. So let's keep it around 0.68. Now let me deselect this hide box and click on this zoom to fit icon. Let's select the keyframes then press S on your keyboard. And for this one we are going to adjust it a little bit. So I will simply click on this bottom handle and move it somewhere around here and take this top handle and drag it like this. Now if I go to frame 0, double click here and play it, we'll have something like this. 
and it's actually looking pretty cool okay now we need to create the pop out animation as well so let's do this click on this rectangle node to view the keyframes and this is where our keyframe is and from there we're going to move five frames backward so it will be frame 45 and at this point we're going to add another keyframe for the height and let's move 25 frames forward so it will be frame 70 and at this point decrease the height all the way to zero now let's deselect this one and select the height box click on the zoom to fit icon select these two keyframes and press s on your keyboard now simply click on this bottom handle and drag it like this and also take this top handle and move it somewhere around here and let me adjust the bottom handle a little bit okay now if i go to frame 0 and 7 and double click here and then play it we'll have something like this okay and i guess i'm going to adjust the curve a little bit more uh, let me click on the zoom to fit icon and i'm going to adjust the bottom handle a little bit let's keep it around here and also let's take this top handle and keep it around here I want to make it a little bit smoother so let's go to frame 0 and double click here and play it so now we have something like this and it's actually looking quite cool okay now we are going to create the reveal animation so as the white line moves our text will reveal so for that we need to add a mask for our text as well so click on this template node and add a rectangle mask to it simply go to frame 20 because this is where our position animation starts and now let's adjust the rectangle mask so move to viewer and click here then drag it like this place it in the middle of your white line now simply go to inspector and add a keyframe for the center xy then move 30 frames forward and from there just adjust the edge panel click here and drag it until it reveals the full text like this now we need to adjust the graph as well so let me deselect this one and click on the zoom to fit icon now simply select the keyframes and press s on your keyboard now for this one we are going to create a little bit of different curve and to work efficiently let's move a little bit backwards somewhere around here so we need to adjust the bottom handle only so for that i'll simply click on this bottom handle and drag it like this let's move it a little bit around here and now if i click the playback head and drag it and let's check it so i guess it's working pretty cool and the text is revealing properly okay now to make it even more better what you can do is simply go to inspector and increase the soft size a little bit so let's click here and increase it keep it somewhere around 0 0.02 and now if i go to frame 0 and double click here then play it we'll have something like this and you see it's looking pretty cool so the next thing we are going to do is simply select this all three nodes and press ctrl plus c to copy them let me also click here and drag it somewhere around here and let's click here once and move it like this okay press ctrl plus b to paste it now click on this merge node and press shift and drag it once you see the node line is getting yellow and blue release the keys and it will connect now we just need to adjust the keyframes so let me simply click here to deselect everything and let's close this spline tab and open this keyframes tab click on the zoom to fit icon and we need to adjust the copied rectangle mask so click on this rectangle mask to highlight it so this is around here so let's click on this mini arrow to reveal it simply move to frame 80 and let's also click here and drag it all the way up now simply click here and select all the keyframes and click on this first keyframe and drag it to frame 80 now if i double click here and play it it'll have something like this okay now we just need to move the text disappear as our line moves so what we're going to do is simply click on this rectangle 2 node and drag it upwards like this then we're going to simply copy it by pressing ctrl plus c and paste it by pressing ctrl plus d now let's go to keyframes tab and we need to reveal this rectangle node so it is this one but if i click on this mini arrow you will see the keyframes are fitting behind this area and to see it you just need to click here and drag it upwards like this now simply click and select the keyframes and move them to frame 100 because this is where our second position animation will start so and to check that you can simply click here and drag it and you will see our position animation is starting okay click on this rectangle 2 node and go to inspector and you will see this paint mode option click here and change it to subtract now if i play it you will see our text is getting vanished now keep that in mind that you might need to adjust the curve according to the text you have all right now let's move to the edit page and play it so we'll have something like this and as you can see it's actually looking pretty smooth okay now let me show you how to save this effect so that you can use it in your future project and for that we'll simply move to this top left section and you will see this option called bin list click here to open it and from there we're going to use the power bin but by default it's actually hidden so in order to see it simply move to the right and you will see this three dot 
click here and from there click on this option so power gains now by default there is already one power bin that is called master you can simply go here and right click and then create a new power bin rename it as you like i will simply call it watermark and simply click here once to apply the changes now double click on this watermark folder and click on this text note and drag it here now in order to export it simply right click on this watermark and here you will see this option called export bin click here then choose the folder you like and press enter to save it okay so as you can see i have deleted the text node and also closed all the windows because now i'm going to show you how to import the bin and it's actually quite easy to do simply go to media pool then right click you will see the option called import bin click here and locate the bin from your folder here it is and double click on this folder to open it now simply click here and drag it to the timeline and place it in the beginning now if i go to frame zero and play it you will see it's working properly okay now in case you want to change the text size and also replace the text with something new you can do that in the edit page and for that you just have to click on this text plus node then go to inspector now select this text let's replace it with something new i will simply type t o n or tony and what i'm going to do is go to this settings icon and from here you can adjust the zoom and position so let's click on this zoom and adjust it let's keep it something like maybe 0.64 and also I want to click here on this Y position and drag it like this. Now let's go to frame 0, double click here and play it. So it will have something like this and you'll see it's looking pretty smooth. Now to improve it even bit further, you can add soft glow and drop shadow like I have already done. And that's all for today. So if the tutorial was helpful, then give it a like, subscribe to the channel and make sure to watch my other videos. I'll see you in the next one. So see ya.